Hey guys, Ed Hutch from Full Blown Customs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. First video on my new shop, so we're going to start right out doing this computer. I got a dragon picture that the customer sent me. This is not my original artwork. Somebody else did this, so I like to give thanks out to the artist. And uh, I'm going to show you how to take a piece of paper, cut the paper out, and use that as your stencil. Let's get going. All right, I've taken my picture and I've cut out the outline of the dragon and I took and cut holes in where the um, yellow tape is here to hold it down. What I'm going to do is take a roll of tape. I'm going to create a moon about right here. I'm using house color white. So we're just going to spray the center. Using about 40 to 45 psi right now. So now that we got that, we're going to start creating the clouds all around him. And you'll have to hold this down once in a while. Actually, I'm going to turn the pressure down about 30. Coast Airbrush sells these little uh, cheater valves right here. You can hook on to your uh, airbrush. They work awesome. See what this does. Here, I'll spray a little bit more here. So I get this all sprayed around him. Because I'm going to go back in. I'm going to use my other parts that I cut out and we'll kind of highlight the inside of the wings and just kind of get kind of placements where we want, like where the arm comes, you know, where his leg comes down here and everything. And we'll kind of place everything in there. And I'll just lightly shadow and then we'll freehand everything from there. This is an excellent way for a beginner to start out. Just using a piece of scotch bright. Kind of spraying at it and then up away from it. I'll show you what it looks really cool. You can stretch these out. These. <laughs> this. Like so. And then spray right directly on it. You get a really cool effect. I'm going to do that all the way around. There's kind of a close up of what I'm talking about. Gives you a really cool effect on the clouds. We're going to use a little bit of purple candy. Just kind of going in the darker areas, and letting the mist kind of go over the white. And yes, I have my ventilation on, sucking the fumes out nice. Now I'll go over the white just a little bit. Make sure you keep moving it around, don't just stay in one spot.
Now I'm going to use a cobalt blue and darken it up a little bit. Instead of going back with purple, I'm actually going to add some candy apple red. Just in certain spots. Because when overspray gets on the blue, it's going to turn it a little bit of purple. Kind of gives you definition there. Then I'm going to use the other part that I cut out for the chest. Now I'm going to draw in with a Stabilo pencil. I'm going to kind of draw in where I want everything to go, and then I'm going to start freehanding everything. you can use a st uh, Stabilo pencil and just lightly draw in where you want your key points at. There's actually another jaw line that comes up across here. I'm just doing this lightly. It's going to come back around here. That'll just freehand in. You know that the neck rolls right here. Now these marks will actually wipe off. You can even take water and wipe them off with it. But I just use them as guidelines. You can see through your mesh so you can tell where to spray it. 